Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi-Chi? Yep, there's no place like home. Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Bring all that back, and I'll whip up a feast. I need to hurry and gather ingredients. in the hyperbolic time chamber wasn't very good, huh? I can't release my full power if I don't have something tasty to eat. Good thing we left the chamber early. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I can't wait to dig into some of Chi Chi's home cooking. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Ah! 
Whoa! This one seems pretty tough. be enough meat. Great. This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. All right, happy hunting. Chi-Chi, will this do for the ingredients? Back already? That's my husband for you. I <laughs> can't wait to dig in. <laughs> I'll fix this something nice, so hold your horses. Ta-da! Finished. Oh, wow! It smells delicious. I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys! Man, I can't wait! You'll have to. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. Then let's get going! All right. It's been ages since we've gone out together. This will be fun! I'd do anything for some tasty grub. But I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier. Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, is that it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Goku. Remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? Of course I do. We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Boncho fan. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. Huh? Really? Ah, <sighs> such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Mom seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. I know. I should excuse myself. They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry, I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But Gohan, we've been planning this for... Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. You two, enjoy the ride. If you say so. Shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan. Hmm. What should I do now? Hey, someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. Hello? This is Gohan. Oh, hey, Gohan. It's me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Oh, 
You want Dad? Sorry. Him and Mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? Got it. I'll have these in a jiffy. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Gohan. This isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. All right. This must be what Bulma was talking about. lot of energy in this thing. I think I can take this guy.
to take this back to Capsule Core. Hi, Bulma. Is this everything? Looks like it. Great work, Gohan. I really appreciate it. All that's left is to build the chip. Uh, uh hey! What's with that look? Uh, are you really Gohan? I am. Honest. Uh, it's a long story. I'll bet. I mean, look at you. Well, you are your father's son, and Saiyans are weird, so I guess this isn't out of the question. No use applying logic to you guys, anyway. She's being surprisingly calm about all this. I guess living with Vegeta's kinda numbed her. Thanks for being my delivery boy. You're the best. Uh, you're welcome. And sorry I surprised you. By the way, now that you're here, do you want to watch me fix the android up? I'm pretty sure he's safe, but you know, you can't be too careful. So do you mind staying for a bit? Oh, uh, no problem. So, this is an android. These things were built to kill Dad. There we go. It's done? Mm-hmm. Almost. The chip you helped us build was successfully integrated. It may be tiny, but it's what gives the android life. Now, we stick it in the cranial chamber here, and... <laughs> Voila! Mm. Analyzing situation. He's online. Uh, hey, you! Got a name? I am Android 16. Scanning memory logs. I was brought here by Krillin for repairs. His memory circuits are functional. Oh, good. He's back! You did it, guys! Are you the ones who repaired me? I am grateful. Oh, <laughs> no need to mention it. If you want to thank someone, thank Gohan here. After all, he helped us fix you. Gohan. H hello Searching. Data profile found. Gohan, son of Goku. Hey now, mister! Just because he's Goku's son doesn't mean you have to terminate him! He is irrelevant. My target is Goku, not his offspring. That's so. Okay, I guess I can live with that. Mm. He's staring at me. Why? Doctor. Yes? I wish to run a field test in the nearby forest to gauge this body's functionality. Hmm, well, I don't see a problem with that. Come with me, Gohan. Your assistance may be required. Uh, really? Um, okay. 
Sorry, kid, but humor him. He should be all right. But we just restarted his systems, and you never know what could happen. Sh sure thing. I will go on ahead. Find me in the forest. Counting on you, Junior. R right. So, how's that body of yours? Hmm, satisfactory. Diagnostics indicate 100% functionality. Glad to hear that. Um... Uh... Oh! <laughs> so, do you like animals? Affirmative. They put me at ease. I like animals too. All sorts of things interest me, actually. I'm hoping to be a scholar someday. A fine goal. I am certain you will make an exemplary scholar. By the way, are you really out to... K kill my dad? Affirmative. That is my only directive. I have no other use. As a result, I was declared defective and stored away. Huh? I loathe conflict. Therefore, as a weapon, I am defective. That's no reason to shut you down. Dr. Giraud once said, he made me in the image of his deceased son. But he was bold and daring. I am not. A war machine that shuns war is nothing but a failure. D don't say that! It's the truth. So this is where all them cuddly critters been hiding. Who are you people? They're uh, just folks. Looking to make a gosh darn fortune off of pelts. What? <laughs> Looks like we hit the jackpot. Can't believe we fight all these furs in one spot. They're poachers. Gohan. Way ahead of you. Let's send these jerks packing.
target a hubcap factory! Threat neutralized. Yeah. Go on. I am grateful for your assistance in protecting the animals, as well as for assisting with my repairs. My apologies for not thanking you sooner. Oh, it's no big deal. Hmm. The real reason I asked you to accompany me is a discrepancy between my data and your current appearance. I intended to personally reevaluate your potential in combat, but thanks to the altercation with the poachers, there is no longer such a need. Your power is immense. It far surpasses all your records in my system. I foresee you becoming the deciding factor in the outcome of the Cell Games. Me? But my dad's way stronger. Huh. We are not so different, you and I. We aren't? Let us return for now. The doctor will be worried if we take too long. Right. Let's head back. How are Sixteen and I alike? How'd it go? Exceptional. I am fully operational thanks to you. <laughs> nice job out there, boys. I heard you rounded up some poachers. Bet you socked him something fierce, huh? What morons going up against the son of Goku and a giant android? <laughs> it was nothing, really. <clears throat> I know. Why don't you stay for dinner? It's the least I can do to repay you for your help today. Honestly, I haven't done anything. Ah, uh, don't be silly. Make yourself at home and spend the night while you're at it. I'll phone your mother for you, okay? Okay, sure. Oh! So, Gohan's at Bulma's? I was wondering where he'd run off to. Yep, she just called and said he's staying the night too. Her family's loaded. Gohan's probably having the feast of his life right now. Aren't you jealous, Goku? Well, sure. I love myself some good grub, but nothing beats your home-cooked meals. And if we're being honest, I'd choose them over any spread in the world. R really? Thanks. Even if it's just flattery. Uh, oh, I'm getting so embarrassed. Shortly after Gohan had returned home. We've just received breaking news. 
After having been dispatched to defeat the monster known as Cell, the Royal Guard has been utterly decimated due to one of Cell's attacks. I repeat. H how terrible! Those were innocent people! <clears throat> that monster! <clears throat> Chi-Chi! I need to talk to Piccolo about something. I'll be right back. Goku! And he's gone. What does he need to talk to Piccolo about? I I'm not sure. <laughs> 